scary ghost videos. Before we begin today's episode of Top 5 Scary Ghost Videos, I'd just like to remind you that if you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button and subscribe to help support the channel. The Possession the first ghost video in today's episode of 5 Scary Ghost Videos comes from the Urban Exploration channel, Urbex Hill. In the video, Chris visits an old abandoned building late at night. He sets up a static infrared night vision camera and two infrared lights hooked up to a portable generator. He leaves them running while he explores the abandoned building and captures something strange on camera. So here's the setup. I got this generator. This IR camera and these two infrared lights. You see how you could see with my camera I'm using now with this light on, right? But if I turn this light off, this camera can still see. You can literally just see in the dark. Get it to focus. Yeah, you see that? Pitch black, you can see. Noticeably colder in here. What the hell? If you stand right here, it's kind of warm. Like normal temperature. But as soon as you go in here, it gets cold. That is creepy as hell. Shit. Whoa, that is weird. That is weird. Like, I'm not joking on it. What was that? It's noticeably colder in here. Wow. Shit, this is gonna be creepy. Shells are all connected, it seems like. Still gotta go down there too. Did you hear that? That was loud. I feel sick.
as Chris peers inside a shelf down in the basement. He finds that all the shelves connect to each other via some sort of long tunnel. However, when Chris pans the camera around, a shadow can be seen moving quickly at the end of the tunnel, but at the time, Chris doesn't notice it. Then, captured on Chris's infrared camera, a mysterious white mist accompanied by an orb can be seen moving together at the same time. Then later in the video, when Chris returns to the room where the orb and mist had been filmed, a loud bang is heard and then a ghostly apparition can be seen taking form. It moves quickly towards Chris before appearing to enter inside him. Chris feels it and spins around, but no one's there. Chris frantically looks around for whatever he just felt and something with what looks like glowing eyes can be seen peeking out sideways from one of the doorways, but when Chris's light hits it, it vanishes like it was never there. And as we can see from Chris's point of view, when he looks down the hallway, there's nothing there. Moments later, Chris begins to vomit excessively and then a mysterious white mist can be seen leaving his body and appears to flow upwards before disappearing into thin air. Chris's viewers were amazed at these captures, with many claiming that this white mist is a ghostly spirit which caused Chris to vomit by entering his body. But what do you think? Did Chris from the Urbex Hill channel capture something paranormal on camera inside this old abandoned building? You tell me. The Chapter House the next ghost video comes from the Ghost Hunting and Paranormal Investigation channel, Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. The paranormal investigators visit a place called the Chapter House, which over 900 years ago was part of one of England's most important ancient monuments, Merton Priory. The old priory is said to be linked to the origin of English law and the likes of King John, Henry VIII, and Thomas Beckett. The chapter house was built in the early 1100s and was used as a meeting room by monks to discuss important matters. In the early 1900s, excavation work began on the site where they uncovered ruins of the old priory building. Further excavation work by archaeologists began in 1988 where 31 bodies were found buried beneath the floor of the ruins. In total, over 700 medieval burials were found on the whole of the priory site. Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations were invited to conduct a paranormal investigation at the historic ancient priory and this is what they found. You may also notice there is a light on the floor. Again, it won't do you any harm, but if you come up near it, it may light up more, may illuminate more. But if you come up near it, it may light up more, may illuminate more. But if you come up near it, it may light up more, may illuminate more. Around me, history which is, you know, 900 years old. It's quite a loud bang then, wasn't it? History which is, you know, 900 years old. It's quite a loud bang then, wasn't it? And yet, around me, history which is, you know, 900 years old. It's quite a loud bang then, wasn't it?
the equipment's just to help us see you and hear you. Can you come and take a seat next to me? I felt the floor move behind me and I heard footsteps right up behind me. Can you come and take a seat next to me? As the team are all standing still alone in the chapter house, the sound of footsteps can clearly be heard walking close by. Then, moments later, a voice is captured on the Ghost Hunters EVP saying, Did you die? Seconds after, a loud bang is heard, followed by another voice saying, Be careful. Then, captured on the team's static night vision camera set up in one of the corridors, a mysterious shadow can be seen moving along the wall of the corridor, which the team claim wasn't caused by any of them. Then, on the team's static night night vision camera in the main area of the chapter house, another shadow is caught on camera. The shadow appears to rise from one of the graves, then moves along the wall before disappearing out of sight. Jeff attempts to communicate with any spirits in the chapter house. He chooses to sit on the floor in the centre of the room and proceeds to ask several questions. One of the questions Jeff asks is, can you come and take a seat next to me? Then immediately after the sound of footsteps can be heard approaching, Jeff jumps up and spins around. but no one's there. Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations were amazed at their findings and the team have earned a reputation as being one of the best and most honest investigators in the game. But what do you think? Did Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations capture real paranormal activity inside the ancient Merton Priory chapter house? You tell me. The Ghost of Smiling Jack the next ghost video comes from the Ghost Hunting and Paranormal Investigation channel, Midwest Ghost Hunter. Ian ventures out to an old cemetery known as Rose Lawn Cemetery in Roseville, Minnesota. The land where the cemetery was built was first used for the resting place of Colonel William Marshall's war horse named Don, who was buried here in 1886. The land was then eventually sold and became the graveyard it is today. Apparently, local police have received dozens of phone calls from local residents in the area claiming to witness somebody trapped inside one of the mausoleums. However, when the police arrive, they find no one inside. Only a locked mausoleum closed off to the public. This story is now known as the Ghost of Smiling Jack. Ian visits this graveyard late at night, alone, and captures this on camera. I would soon make my way to Don the Warhorse's grave in the hopes of witnessing his ghostly form. Colonel William, are you out here tonight? This is your war horse's gravesite. Don. Is there anything you'd like to say? got a red light in my hand. It's a microphone. It'll record your voice. What? No freaking way! Holy moly! After nearly three hours of investigating, I would finally have my first strange experience. You can very clearly hear the sound of a horse in the background. I strongly believe that this was Don, and that this is clear evidence of his spirit's existence. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that literally sounded like a freaking horse. Like literally going and that came from right behind me oh my god 
It was now time to pay a visit to Smiling Jack's mausoleum. Smiling Jack! Are you in there? Jack, if you're in there, could you make a noise? Could you do that again? You can clearly hear this faint tap echo inside the mausoleum, yet there is nothing inside that could cause it. Whoa, what the f Oh my god. Oh my god, dude, I just caught a face. Holy shit. Oh my god. I had just photographed this stunningly clear floating white face inside of the vault. Oh my freaking god, I gotta look at those. What's eerie is that the face appears to be smiling, much like the urban legend suggests. Jack, if you can hear my voice, I know you're here. Tap on this window. Tap on it just like this. I don't know guys. It seems like he's gone. Oh. <gasps> After taunting this spirit to make its presence known, it finally did once more. I unfortunately was frightened to the point of calling it quits. However, I can at least say that I managed to capture this encounter on camera. I don't know guys. It seems like he's gone. Oh. The sound of a horse can clearly be heard coming from somewhere in the darkness. Then Ian decides to investigate the haunted mausoleum where the story of the ghost of Smiling Jack originated from. He snaps several pictures which all look clear at first. However, in one of the photos, a creepy pale face can be seen floating in the air. And if we look closely, the face appears to be smiling. Then Ian taps on a window to the mausoleum and asks the supposed entity to respond back. Seconds later, the sound of tapping can be heard and Ian flees in terror. So what do you think? Did Ian the Midwest ghost hunter capture something paranormal at this old cemetery? And is this the ghost of Smiling Jack that the locals have witnessed? You tell me. The Shadow the final ghost video for today comes from the popular paranormal channel Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. Kent Burris is adamant that his house is haunted by multiple dark entities and has uploaded numerous videos of terrifying things he's caught on camera inside his home, many of which are quite compelling. In this particular video you're about to see, Kent and his son Michael conduct a paranormal investigation inside Kent's home. For the first part of the video, Kent and Michael record some very strange and sinister voices on their EVP device. However, what Kent captures the following day sends shivers down his spine. The next day the activity in the house turns into a nightmare. I'm in my office going over recordings. I hear really loud bang sounds and voices within the house. I grab the cell phone and hit record. You make a noise? Making noise upstairs? Jesus! You making noise up here?
Due to the activity, I quickly make up my bed and pick up the room. I'm still hearing voices in the room. Once again, I hit record. As I'm by the stairs, I hear a strange voice in the room. When I turn around to look, there appears to be a faint female apparition standing to the right of the window wearing a blue dress. This is what I refer to as a glitch apparition. Many times the camera will make a strange glitch. I have found this could be caused by the shutter speed, but then there are times strange anomalies appear within the glitch. These are screenshots I kept on file from recordings that showed some of these anomalies. The day the house became active, I did a quick walkthrough recording. Once again something appears in the recording and this was not a glitch. I'm sound asleep. Obnoxious sounds coming from the TV wakes me up. I fell asleep watching Stargate SG-1. When the obnoxious sounds woke me up, I looked at the TV and didn't recognize the episode of SG-1. I've seen every episode more than once. I thought I heard Blood Witch. When I come to my senses, I noticed this was not SG-1 and I heard Blood Witch again. A few days prior after going over the recordings when Michael was here, I recall Blood Witch was captured during the investigation. Kent hears loud bangs coming from an upstairs bedroom. Then as Kent pans the camera around, something can be seen standing by the window. Kent then shows footage of the day the activity started happening. And as he's panning the camera around the same room where the figure was seen by the window, a dark figure can be seen just standing there motionless in the corner of the room. Then later in the video, as Kent is relaxing in his bedroom watching TV, he begins to hear some rather disturbing disembodied voices coming from something we can't see. See. However, as he lies back down, something nudges his bed. He grabs his phone, hits record, and captures this on camera. I turn the closet light on and record for a few minutes. EVPs were captured. The moment I shut the camera off, I lay back down when suddenly the bed is nudged. I look at the end of the bed. There stood a very clear shadow apparition. I slowly lift my cell phone up, hit record.
The moment it took off, it left a strange image on the recording. The kind of after image that looks like a camera glitched. I now wonder if some of these camera glitches are the after images of apparitions moving so fast, the camera only picks up what looks like a glitch. Captured on Kent's phone camera, a mysterious dark shadowy figure can be seen standing at the end of his bed. The dark shadowy figure appears to nudge the bed a few times before it rapidly vanishes out of sight. Kent's viewers were left stunned by this capture, with many claiming it to be the best footage of an apparition ever caught on camera. But what do you think? Is Kent's home really haunted by ghostly apparitions as he claims? You tell me. Thanks so much for watching, I've noticed a large number of my viewers aren't subscribed yet, so this is just another friendly reminder that if you enjoyed this video, to please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you'll never miss another video. And if you want to watch more scary videos just like this one, you can click any of these scary videos shown on the screen. And you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at MindJunkieTV and on TikTok where I should be posting again real soon at MindJunkie. See you next week.